Hey guys, how are you doing? This is Zeph from Zed Outdoors and I hope you're having an awesome day. So today I'm spending a day with a good buddy of mine, David Fries, here near the city of Cambridge. Now the reason why I'm down here to see him is because if you're not familiar with David's work already or you've not seen my previous videos that I've done with him, he's a full-time maker of a bushcraft modular pouch system. Now I am currently in the process of incorporating a lot of his pouches into my gear and what David kindly did was invite me down for the day to kind of give me a few tips and tricks in the way I can pack my gear most effectively. Now in the process of us doing that, what David done is he actually brought down some other packs that he uses from different makers and he started to show me how his systems fit into there. And what I thought would be a great thing to do is a part of a little mini series moving forward is we can look at separate packs packs that I don't have a lot of familiar, familiarity or kind of experience with but also I can see for myself and hopefully you guys as well how his system fits using those individual packs. So what we're going to do today and this in this video we're going to look at a small day pack by Hill People Gear. Now this is the first time I've seen any of their packs let alone how David's system fits into there and the general idea with this video is to see ways in which you can organize your kit. So it doesn't matter what pack that you're using, either David's system or another system of pouches that you can use, you can get a bit of an idea just like I am today in terms of an efficient way of packing your system. So without further ado, let's jump straight into under a parachute canopy that we got set up here and we'll look at David's Hill People Gear Day Pack system. Mr. Fryers. Hello mate. How you doing? Not too bad. Good to see you again. And you. So I'm just going to explain to the viewers, obviously you know, I'm spending the day with you and obviously you're very kindly giving me a bit of advice yep. using your system to pack my gear. And now what we're doing, obviously we're going to look at on individual videos, like some separate packs you've brought down yeah, yeah. and how your system works. So do you want to talk through this particular pack we're looking at today? Right, this is a Hill People Gear, sort of a day pack, small day pack. It's only small, I stand up so you can see how small it is. To be honest, I don't know what the litre is, maybe 20 litres. But it's a small, small day pack. Nice. Yeah. And basically, because I, I make these pouches and bags, I'm always intrigued to see what I can maximise the space inside the bag. So being it's such a small rucksack, um, and I want it as a day pack, I thought, how can I organise a couple of pouches to get maximise the space inside it? And on the outside, basically, you can see there's a water bottle side pouch, which goes down there. And on this side, I've got a mess bottle and just a, a little saw. But it's the inside of it, um, which I've used my pouch system to maximise it. Now, there is a couple of sort of extra luxuries which you wouldn't really need to take for a day pack, but, you know, I've had the space, so let's put it in there. So let's open it up and have a look. Now, it's got a big central sit. And at the top here, first thing I've got is one of my pouches that I make uh, for the Trangia and the Eagle Kettles. Now, I've been sort of developing these sort of pouches for the last month or so, and uh, I will have them on the website really shortly, but got the Eagle Kettle, fits in there nicely, nice zip, and it just, when you've got it over the fire, it's all sorted up, so you need to put it somewhere, so it goes in a small little bag like that. So, that's a kettle. So next to that, I need to have a stove, and this is a, a, another, sort of dry bag type of pouch that I just use to put in my stove. And it's not just a stove, it's an Avenue cup, titanium cup. I've also got the Swedish Army cups and the Avenue cook system, which is really easy. You know, it's, it's a really efficient stove as well. Basically, it just goes together like that. And what is this? This is titanium? All titanium, yeah. And it all fits inside there. And it's really efficient on the old methylated spirits. It gets to a bowl pretty quick. So basically you've got two options. So you've got a kettle. So generally what I would do is, if, I'm, if I brought the kettle along, I'd use that to boil my water up. Um, if you're having some noodles or anything like that, that would go in there. And then obviously this would be sort of have your brew. So, and you can sort of, two people get away with using that setup, you know what I mean? So if there's two of us out, we'll be fine. So that's, if I open it up. So I don't need to bring the kettle out, but 
I thought I'd like to have it in the kit so it's there, but I don't need it. If I wanted extra space for something else, I could take that out and put whatever else in there. So that's that. Next up, I've got two small little pouches. So basically inside here, it's just like a little possible pouch. So I've got a torch in there. I've got a little first aid kit. Um, I have asthma, so I've got an asthma pump in there, a lighter and a spoon. Um, and they're just two small little, really useful little little pouches. So and that'll keep the fire striker in there as well. And in this one, yeah, again, it's, it's a bit of a fire kit. Um, I've got some cordage in there and a lot of sort of an Altoise tin, which if I open it up, some Ranger bands around it. Just a little first aid kit. Well, it's not a first aid kit, it's a um, sort of emergency kit, say. So you've got a whistle in there, fire striker, some matches, candle, and uh, it's just all little bits and pieces, really. But it's small enough that you can leave it in there and uh, don't, think, you know, don't worry about it, just leave it there, forget about it. So that's in there. Now, next up is a pouch for food and brew kit. So the way the system's working, um, everything's stacking on top of each other. So we maximise every single bit of space inside this rucksack. So in this food bag, basically I've got a brew kit, got noodles, a um, couple of packs of noodles, some um, mac and cheese pasta, and a brew kit all in there, and zipped up. So that's a sort of my food section of the pack. So that's that there. Now I've got two more pouches in here, or bags. And uh, these say they're all sort of a square type design, so they all slot together quite nicely. In this one, I've got a, a really lightweight hammock, because it's nice to uh, put a hammock up and chill out in the woods. And for a tarp, so this is a Hilleberg lightweight tarp, which you can over, go over the top of that, and that all fits in one of them pouches. And the other one, is basically I've got a hat, a wool hat, because it's always handy to have a hat with you. You know, if it starts raining, chuck it on your head. And this is a uh, Montaigne um, waterproof smock. Now, it's a bright orange, which is useful to have, especially if you're out hiking for the day and something does go wrong. You've just got that nice bright color, you know, to be seen. So, yes, it is bright, but it's there, you know, it's good for a reason to have that brightness. So there's that, and that's about it, really. The only thing I've got Ill, is in the back slot here. Is a Right in the Rain notepad and pen. And another thing you need is just basically a small little mat so you can put your stuff on. So that's the complete kit. I'll lay it all out again so you can see it. But it is, for the size of the rucksack, I think there's quite a bit of gear inside there. Right, so let's all pack it back up now. I'll try and make it as simple as possible. So, put the water bottle in. Methylated spirits and the saw. And it's nice, because when you put these packs in, the pouches in, it spreads the pack out. So it, it sits nicely on the ground now.
ready to go. So there you have it my friends, that is a wrap for this video. As I mentioned in the very beginning, I'm in the process of incorporating David's power system into my gear, okay, and how I'm organizing it all. I primarily use the Carrymore SF Sabre and also the Hidden Woodsman pack, but also in the future I'm gonna be experimenting around with different systems as well in terms of the packs that I use. But for now, those two are my main go-to. So I was here for the day anyway, spending time with David for him to share his insights into the best way I can pack that. So what I'm gonna be doing moving forward Forward. obviously once I'm kind of clearing the way my stuff is organized I will be doing a separate video on that but I just thought as I was spending the day with David and looking at his different packs and the way he organizes his system into those individual packs I find it quite educational so my thought is is that you know some of you guys as well because I get messages all the time people asking me like how do I organize this what's the best way of setting that up now I don't have all the answers I'm always learning but I've learned over the years that at the very minimal you need to organize it into some kind of system it needs to be in some kind of pouches so regardless of what pouches that you use it's really the best way forward for a whole myriad of reasons so this video obviously we've looked at the hill people gear we have a couple of other videos we're going to be filming today and i'll be drip feeding those out over the coming weeks we're looking at a couple of other packs and if those videos are already out by the time you're watching this i'll put a link below to those videos looking at the other backpacks and i'll also put a link to the previous video that we did at the time of recording this uh, which was recorded a few months ago now where we looked at the way uh, david organizes his pouch system into the foul raven uh, series of backpacks so like I said all the links below and also more importantly I'm going to put a link below to David's website and on that website you can see a lot more about the individual pouches the kind of the, the more photos the more images more descriptions and obviously you have the opportunity should you want to do so to test out some of his pouches and potentially incorporate that into your system so I'll put a link below to David's website as well as the previous videos I've done with him I'm also going to put a link to his Instagram and on his Instagram he's got a whole history of photos photos and videos showing the individual things that he has going on as well as obviously looking at all the pouches that he makes so links to everything down below guys really do appreciate you watching and I look forward to seeing you on the next video that I film with David and until then as always I hope whatever you're doing you have a blessed day a blessed week ahead it's for myself Z Outdoors peace out